Hello everybody, my name is Bradley Sward, I'm the Pack Prof, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a brand new Visual Studio project. Uh, once we have the Visual Studio project up and running, uh, I'll show you how to set up brand new files that you can use so you can work on your projects and homework assignments. Uh, we'll do that real fast. And then once that's all said and done, we will take that and zip it up and show you how to submit that onto Blackboard. Okay, so the first thing we obviously have to do in order to start a Visual Studio project up and running is to start Visual Studio. So find your link somewhere in your computer, give it a good old double click, and this will pop up. Uh, generally, this the start page will pop up every time you start something up in Visual Studio, not necessarily all the time. So two ways that we can go ahead starting a new project is new project, right here, this link right here. Um, that's a good, fun, easy way to do it. It's just not always going to be there, so the one surefire way to do things is to go up here to the taskbar, click File, click New Project, and then that will bring up this menu system here. So, like I said, what's going to happen is a folder is going to be created that contains everything needed for your project. So just to show things get going here, I'm going to start this up and show you the folder system here. Now, this is just a normal you know, normal like Windows Explorer uh, window here. So uh, we're going to do the C++ version today just because it's a little more challenging than the others. They're not all, you know, they're really not challenging, but the C++ one takes a little more work than the others. If you're doing C Sharp, just generally you're, if you click on the C Sharp language and you pull up what you're going to do. If you want a form application, you click that. If you want the normal console application, you click that. But coming back to what we're doing, here's C++. We're going to set up an empty project. And you notice here, once you do that or the whole time, you have name, location, solution name. You can select where you want the, you know, the location here selects exactly where you want to, where you want to put the folder. And I'm going to put in tutorials folder over here and what name you want to give it. And just for this, project here. I'm going to call it Hello World because that's generally how we start things for the first time when we're setting up something for a new language. So that's all said and done. That's all good. I click OK and you'll notice everything starts up. You notice the folder over here gets created. Say so everything gets put into that folder and there's a lot, a lot of stuff in there but there's actually nothing in there that we care about right now until we get going over here and set things up. Okay so to get things to get things going, you're going to click on source files over here in your solution explorer inside of your window, right click on it, do add, and do new item. So because we want to create a CPP file here to contain that contains our code. So I click new item, and now it brings up other stuff here, another whole nother menu. You know, what do I want to do? And for 90% of the time for the classes that you will or, you know that you'll be attending, this CPP file is what you want, and for the most most part, source.cpp will work just fine. So I click Add, and I will get a completely blank, empty file to start with. And like I said, just to show things are going here, let me just set up a program real fast. IO include IO include IO stream using name space std. If you don't understand all of what I'm doing, that's not a problem. That's what the course is for, so don't worry about it. So, so here I go, here I go. My typing isn't always the best when I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. So here we go. There's my program. I hit F5. Everything will run. I'll pull it over. There it is. Hello world. Press any key to continue. So I know my program's up and running and now everything else from there is just a matter of figuring out the syntax and moving forward. So there's my project. I started up a project. I got it running and now, you know, of course if you have a homework assignment you'd be going through and just doing a whole ton of extra stuff here. Extra stuff. And now we're ready to push forward and say I am done with this. Let's zip this up and put it onto Blackboard. So one thing to note is you got to make sure you're out of Visual Studio or otherwise the zip file might not zip correctly. Uh, your files might not work as you think they will. So close out, say yes to save everything of course as you do. So there you go. So over here in the tutorials folder is my hello world. I click in there, you notice all there's a whole ton of stuff. 
just to prove things work. There's my hello world. There's my source.cpp file that I just created. And just to show it again, there it comes up. If I double click on it, there it is. I have to you know, zoom in a little bit, but there you go. I mean, it, it's exactly what I typed in. So this is the folder I want to zip up. Pretty simple stuff. You just right click on the folder and you have to you know, make sure at the root of the whole project, you know, you don't want to be somewhere, you know, you don't want to be somewhere inside of it. You want to be all the way back at the root. Right click on it, send to compressed zip folder. And that will create a zip file. This is the only file I will, you know, I will, I will allow you to submit, um, because any other file types just take too much work on my part to to put into Visual Studio to get working. So anyway, so there's my zip file. So now, once I have that, now I can look at Blackboard. This is the C++ for Science and Engineering Blackboard shell that I have going. So to submit, you would go over to wherever you need to find it. In my case. For my class, it's homeworks, and you go and I'm gonna. This is chapter one. I don't know. We're just just to show you how it works. You click on that, and it brings up this. It shows you what's due, what assignment is due, when it's due, how many points are possible, you know, yada 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 stuff. So then, what you would do here, you would attach your file. So you would browse my computer, and then you would go desktop. I would find my tutorials folder. And then I would say, here's my Hello World zip. And I would submit that. And that is it. You can put any comments you'd like down here, like, thanks for being the greatest teacher in the world. You can do that. That'd be amazing. But anyway, and then you just click Submit. I'm not going to do it because I actually don't know what will happen if I submit to my own Blackboard shell, and I don't want to find out today. But that's generally it. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any issues, just email me or talk to me in class. Thanks, guys. Bye.